Hello! Today I'm going to be covering components. These were previously called nested artboards, but have now been updated to have way more functionality. Components essentially allow you to use different versions of your designs across your project. A simple example, here I have an artboard with a circle and some text. The artboard is bound to view model 1, which contains a string and a boolean. The string is controlling the text, and the boolean is being used as a condition in the state machine so that when I press play and hover over the circle, it turns red, and when I unhover, it turns back to white. Very, very simple project. Now, to reuse this artboard in another part of our project, we first have to change it to a component. And the way to do this is to highlight your artboard and then go over here and click this button to change it to a component. As you can see, components are purple and artboards are blue. I'm now going to rename this button and I can now reuse this component across my project. So I'm going to create a new artboard, shortcut A. And then I can go up here to the component tool, shortcut N, and I can nest this button in this artboard, like that. And now when I press play on this artboard, nothing happens. The interaction is gone and the text is no longer being controlled by the string. So what's going on? Well, this artboard currently does not have access to this view model and its properties. This is because we haven't bound this artboard to any view model at all. So what do we do? Well, the simplest thing I could do is bind the artboard to view model 1. And as you can see, this would work. However, later on, you're going to see that this artboard needs its own set of view model properties. So what we need to do is remove view model 1 and give this artboard its own view model. I'm going to call it view model 2. And we can now give this view model a property. And that property will be view model 1. Now, what this does is it gives view model 2 access to all of the properties contained within view model 1 by loading view model 1 into view model 2 as a property itself. And the last thing I need to do is highlight my component and then go up here and bind it to this property of view model 1. Now when I press play, the text is being controlled by view model 1 and so is the boolean. Now, I know this is a lot more steps than simply nesting an artboard inside another artboard, but components are actually way better in the long run. Because, number one, when you come to export your files for production, only components will be a part of your export. You can have a million different initial designs and artboards, but only the artboards that you flag as components will take up file space. Number two, our next big feature called libraries will allow you to use components not just across your project, but across files. This makes updating your projects exponentially more scalable. And number three, the most important reason to use components is that you can create different versions of your components and we call these different versions instances. So if I highlight view model one and go over here to its instances panel, you can see that there's only one instance and it's this instances view model property values that are being fed into this property of view model one and therefore are being fed into this component. So if I highlight this component, shrink it down and duplicate it, and then press play, when I interact with them, you'll see that the view model properties are identical. The string is exactly the same and the Boolean is exactly the same. This is because each of these three components is bound to the same property of view model one and this property only has access to one instance of view model one. So how do we create more instances? Well, just go into the instance settings and you can add more instances here. I'm going to call this instance instance one, this one instance two, and this one instance three. 
I'm going to give instance one a string value of one, instance two, two, and instance three, three. Awesome, we have three different instances, each with their own string value. Now, if I close these settings, I can go over here and create two more properties of view model one. I'm just going to duplicate this two times, and then I can highlight view model two and go over here. And you can see that all three properties of view model one are taking in the exact same instance. So I can now assign a different instance to each one. And then I can highlight my components and we can pick which property of view model one to use from this drop down list. So now when I press play, each component has its own unique view model properties. You can see that they have unique strings, but they also have unique booleans as well. So in summary, components let you use different instances of your designs across your project. And with our next update called libraries, you'll soon be able to use components across files as well. So please play around with components because we're going to be using them a lot more in future projects.